Hey everyone, welcome back to the Thinking Crypto channel where we are closely approaching 50,000 subscribers. So please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment below and hit the subscribe button if you're new here. It helps support the channel. Guys, Bitcoin is bouncing above and below 18,000. It keeps testing that price point. I think we got some bears who are trying to push and short the market, but we are in a bull market and we will continue going up. And right now Bitcoin is at 17,900. So certainly it will cross 18,000 again. I crossed it this morning and we're going to see how things progress. But we are on track, guys, to higher prices. And Plan B, who's of course the creator for the well known stock to flow model, said, No data or math, just feeling November will close above $20,000. And I think that's very realistic. We've been talking about it. We're so close. We could see it this weekend, right? Uh, or by next week with Thanksgiving. So let's see what happens. As always, be cautiously optimistic. Yes, you. You can uh, be bullish, but don't let your emotions get the best of you. Be smart, have your cash out plan, and study the charts. Now, things are, like I mentioned, are on track. So the stock to flow model is playing out. So regardless of what we hit, you know, if we hit $20,000 at the end of the month or whatever, uh, we are going to see higher prices. We are very close, and the demand is coming from the institutional investors, hedge funds, family offices, and so forth, right? So here's a tweet um, from a study done here, and it says, Bitcoin all-time highs in sight, this time without the hype. So right now, if you go to Google Trends, there's not a lot of searches from the masses. Public interest, as measured by mentions of Bitcoin in media articles, is a at a low despite the rally. So it's not like 2017. Another big bull run could have far further to run if slash when the public reaches euphoric FOMO stage. So imagine that we're hitting the old all-time highs without the mass FOMO and hype, right? It's the institutional investors buying up as much as they can, a lot of them to escape the inflation and excessive money printing. So when the masses do catch up to what is taking place, as you can imagine, the prices are going to go parabolic. And I even tweeted this morning, guys, and, and I'll share it here with you guys. It, it I think it rings pretty true that those of us who have been here in the market, right? And here's, here's what I tweeted. We have bought the lows slash the dips and endured the bear market, that long, brutal bear market. Now we just lay back and watch the millionaires and billionaires promote Bitcoin and crypto to the masses and then watch the prices hit new all-time highs. I think that summarizes it well, right? Because we've seen a lot of hedge fund managers, billionaires coming out saying they own Bitcoin and that you should put your money in Bitcoin. So in a sense, they're marketing it. They're spreading the knowledge, right? We're seeing a lot of celebrities talking about it now. So we are still very early in the grand scheme of thing when you, when you look at it, at it from a macro level. So just keep that in mind, right? And uh, I, I'm super excited for the future of this market. Now, guys, Jay Clayton... This is very interesting. He was on CNBC Squawk Box today, and he talked about Bitcoin. He said, we determined that Bitcoin was not a security. It was much more a payment mechanism and stored value. And he also said, our current payment mechanisms have inefficiencies, and those inefficiencies are the things that are driving the rise of Bitcoin. Now, Yes and no. Yes, that's part of it. Sure. You know, the movement of, of money, but also the record breaking money printing and inflation. Now, that statement there, I think it's priming the public, the masses, because he's on national TV, saying uh, uh, for CBDCs. That's what's coming. The governments are building it. And I have here um, the head of the Bank of International St <laughs> Settlement kind of said something we already know, but the masses don't know that CBDCs will be on blockchain. There's a dog and pony show going on right now with Christine Lagarde, the IMF, all these central bankers and World Bank and so forth saying, oh, it's coming in another two to three years, whatever, blah, blah, blah. They have or they're already starting building it. China is already building theirs. It's alive, right? They've been doing testing. So you can imagine these other countries, including the United States, are really trying to fast track this. But they're warming the public up slowly, right? This is a new technology. They want to talk about it a lot, let it seep into people's minds, let them get comfortable with it, and then they're going to release it. So we who have been here, who are waist deep, or I should say neck deep into crypto, we know what's going on, right? Uh, you don't have to tell us about that. But uh, that's why I think this statement here from Jay Clayton talking about inefficiencies 
um, and why people are investing in Bitcoin. And, you know, Bitcoin will be a part of uh, how people understand digital money, tokenization, blockchain and all of that. And they'll introduce CBDCs. The government will um, educate people as well. So it's all coming together. We're headed to that digital economy where you're going to have crypto, CBDCs, uh, digital assets like XRP. You're going to have uh, tokenized securities and commodities. Real estate will be tokenized. Cars will be tokenized. Gold will be tokenized. That's where we're headed to, guys. So very bullish statement from Jay Clayton, who's on his way out, of course. And, you know, he hasn't been very pro-crypto. He's There's things he did not approve, like an ETF and a bunch of stuff. But... Um, let's see who comes in. I think someone more crypto friendly will be taking the chairman seat of the SEC. I'm hoping it is crypto mom Hester Pierce. That would be awesome, guys. So bullish for the market. Finally, guys, Dusha, Deutsche, Douchebag Deutsche Bank. And I'm saying that on purpose because you re recall one of their analysts just recently said that they want a work from home tax or something or they're proposing a work from home tax. You guys may have seen my tweet. It was it was laced with profanity, uh, of course. Uh, I just think that's just a just a bullshit idea, and they should just screw themselves, and they should be taxed for their stupidity. But nevertheless, um, they talk about different things, and one of the items that they are seeing is that investors are increasingly preferring Bitcoin over gold as an inflation hedge. Yeah, you don't say. All the hedge fund managers, investment firms, family offices are jumping in. So Bitcoin's appeal as an alternative store of value asset is strengthening, according to the analysts at Germany-based investment bank Deutsche Bank. There seems to be an increasing demand to use Bitcoin where gold used to be used as uh, used to hedge dollar risk, inflation, and other things. Jim Reed, managing director, head of global fundamental credit strategy, said according to Zero Hedge. Bitcoin has long been considered by supporters as digital gold due to its limited predictable supply and the use case as a store of value outside of banking influence. While Bitcoin has gained 144% this year, gold is up 22%. Both assets seem to be, have benefited from an inflation-boosting monetary and fiscal policies launched by central banks and governments across the globe to contain the economic fallout from the coronavirus pandemic. Well, it's not only that. They've been printing money forever, right? It's just it has been um, fast-tracked and, and increased significantly this year because of the pandemic. But they've been doing it and doing it and doing it, printing, right? Where the global debt and here in the United States where I live, the debt is just insane. There's there's no way they can pay it off. So the, the this is all headed to you know the financial reset of CBDCs and money, tokenized money and, and digital currencies and all that, right? That's pretty much where we're headed. So they don't care. They're going to keep printing. But at the same time, if your money is sitting in your bank account, it's losing value and at a rapid pace because of all this money printing. Uh, the cryptocurrency has rallied over 25% this month alone, despite hopes for a swift global economic recovery on potential coronavirus vaccines and improved risk appetite in stock markets. Gold, however, has lived up to its reputation as a haven asset by falling 1% so far this month. So sure, nothing wrong in, in investing in gold. It's a great store of value. However, like Paul Tudor Jones said, Bitcoin is the fastest horse in the race, and it has similar principles to gold, but even more enhanced or more advanced, right, because of the internet because it the it's verifiable on the blockchain it's borderless it's obviously global and you know anyone from any country can see everything on the blockchain right um, you can easily jump in and out of it and you don't need to carry a gold bar with you it's easily transportable all of that um, so the principles uh, are more advanced even uh, or you know there's additional principles that gold doesn't have so a lot of these folks are jumping into Bitcoin and that'll just lead to you know, the tip of the iceberg of them going into all coins and different uh, utility tokens and digital assets. So future of this market is so bright, guys. Be patient. I'm hoping we close out November at $20,000, Bitcoin that is, and we'll see the alts follow. Now, you may not see the same rally as we saw in 2017, just a different market cycle right now. Um, and in 2017, when Bitcoin was at 17,000, you know, Ethereum was pumping, XRP was pumping and all that. But however, what we saw is Bitcoin usually pumps hard. It, it'll hit a certain price point. Then alt season starts. 
So that's going to be interesting when alt season comes around. So guys, what do you think about this news? Leave your thoughts and comments below. Do you think Bitcoin could close, uh, close uh, November at 20K? Let me know and I will talk to you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.